What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today, Samsung has done it. They pushed the April update to the Galaxy S24 Ultra here in the US on my unlocked unit. I got it earlier this morning. We're waiting for this. It's actually a rather sizable update. Not only that, Samsung has dropped update after update, a ton of surprise app updates that come right after this particular software update that add some new features. I'm gonna give you guys an overview today and then I'm gonna make a couple more videos later today detailing these specific app updates as well. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I made the video a couple nights ago when this was rolling out in Korea, but it's now rolled out everywhere. It started rolling out to the US um, via the carriers first, which was Verizon I think got this first and now it's on the unlock models as well. So this brings some camera improvements to white balance and night mode, uh, text clarity when you're using Zoom, it also brings a 480p slow-mo uh, mode, improves the slow-mo functionality uh, of the camera as well. And of course, some bug fixes and things like that. You can see the version here ends in AXCB, 818.12 megabytes, almost a gigabyte large. This is one of the largest updates the S24 Ultra has received. And it has security patch level April 1st, 2024. So Samsung actually has us living in the future because today I'm recording this is March 27th, 2024, and we already have the April 1st update. So According to ICE Universe, we might even get another update from Samsung for the S24 series later this month. So we might get two updates and the S23 series and the Z Fold 5 are slated to get One UI 6.1 tomorrow, which is when I'm recording this is the 27th, that'll be the 28th of March. So if you have an S23 or Fold 5, make sure you stay tuned. Now, so far I've been using this, I'm gonna make a camera video on the zoom so you guys can see the text clarity improvement because there is quite a lot. I, I've been pretty impressed with that. The night balance, the white mode, uh, sorry, the white balance of night mode as well when doing night shots has improved a lot as well. I wanna comment on a couple of things though. I will say I've noticed the battery drain is about the same or worse. And usually I don't comment on battery life when I install a new update because I need to take some time. Of course, this could be the case, but it seems like it's been pretty fast since I installed it this morning. I mean, it went down from like, I installed it and instantly it was at a hundred. I installed it, went down right away to like 93 or 94 is where we're at now. So, I mean, it's not uh, not 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 terrible, but it is something to take note of. Some people always ask about battery life. It could stabilize over time, but that's a comment for that. Uh, in terms of smoothness, you know, animations, people always wanna know. I don't think the animations have particularly improved, but after the update from the previous month, I haven't had any update issues whatsoever in terms of, you know, having animations or smoothness transitions in and out. And I haven't had that touch response issue that I talked about the very beginning of the launch, where if you touch the folder, it doesn't respond or open the folder. That seems to be fully fixed as of the last update. So, you know, I don't think there's really any improvements needed there. But in addition to this update, which again, I'm gonna talk more about the camera in another video. We also got two, actually more than two, there's a bunch of them, app updates, but two of them particularly are of note. And so I wanna talk about those. The first one is not yet rolled out to my device, but it's rolling out to other regions where they received the April update for the S24. And that is the new device care update. Tarun Vats, who I talk about a lot over on Twitter, he posts a lot of Samsung software updates. Definitely give him a follow. Uh, he posted the APK, so you can download it. I'm gonna make a full video on this too. 13.8.06.11, and why do you care about this? Well, Samsung has heard our complaints and they finally brought the last full charge screen on time in One UI 6 with a new device care update. So now when you go into the battery, you'll see since last charge there, and then over here, you can go in and get the full details. This was of course removed as of One UI 6.0. A lot of people complained about it. I made a few videos about it. There were a lot of cries to bring this back and now we finally have it. So this is not part of the April update itself. It arrives as a separate app update to the device care application which you'll get after the April update. Now, if you don't have it, again, I trust Varun, I mean, uh, Tarun, so I would highly recommend downloading his APK, which I'll link below. I'm gonna download this and make a full video on the changes and details for the device care update because it's quite large. So I recommend grabbing that, checking it out, playing around with it. I know some of you like to get to it first, so I wanted to point it out if you haven't seen it yet. The other thing that is updated, um, which I'll talk about now, if you go into your apps and you search for Vision Core. I'm oh, sorry, right here. To search for Vision, you'll see Samsung Vision Core. This application has a lot to do with 
the wallpaper services that Samsung has built in, like the stock wallpaper services and sort of the locks in you know, the wallpaper effects that you can get. This one got a huge update, which I'm also going to make a video on separately. It's almost actually it is larger than the, Gal uh, the Galaxy S24 April update itself. It's 1017.96 megabytes, so 1.017 gigabytes rolled out March 27th. This uh, basically gives you different ways of changing your wallpaper. And uh, this one allows you now to actually have this work with the weather and the time, which was supposed to work at the time the S24 Ultra launched. But now this looks even better. So I'm going to make a full video on this as well. But again, if you got the S24 Ultra April update already and you want to play with it yourself, I'm just pointing it out because so many updates have been flying out. Samsung really has a ton of stuff coming at us. So not only do we have those updates, there's also a bunch of other updates in the Play Store. I actually took a screenshot. Let me take a look here in my gallery. I always... Let's see. There's all these updates as well. I'm trying to go through these and see kind of what from this is actually worth making videos on. Samsung Notes, Photo Editor, Wallpaper and Style, the on-device resources for languages, Interpreter, a bunch of the AI stuff with language got updates. These were all updates that also came out in like the last 72 hours. So there's so much stuff right now um, that Samsung's throwing at us. I'm trying to cover it as fast as I can. I'll have a couple more videos today covering those two app updates that I mentioned and then uh, also have some stuff on the camera updates from the S24 Ultra April patch. Anyway, let me know if you guys got it already. You should have got it if you haven't unlocked unit here in the US. I think it's rolled out everywhere else around the globe as well, but let me know. Appreciate you guys checking out this video. Again, check out my alpha link if you're not a part of the channel yet. Check out our newsletter to sign up for the mystery boxes. Uh, we give out free cases, cleaning kits, desktop phone stands if you pre-order a Samsung device through our affiliate link. Uh, we love to give back to the community. Appreciate you guys checking out this one. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.